These are my top eight things that you must do in Milwaukee. The first thing you need to do in Milwaukee is go and get some brunch and breakfast at the Beer Line Cafe. Now the Beer Line Cafe is a small little establishment with some nice touches for the interior design to make it feel a little artsy, but more than that it has some excellent food. I would highly recommend choosing one of their crepes. They have good savory crepes, they have some good uh, sort of fruit sweet crepes, and cinnamon roll pancakes, which don't even need to say any more about that. Excellent place, excellent food, a must do in Milwaukee everybody. Another thing you must do in Milwaukee is check out the lakefront area and we are starting off with uh, the Lakefront State Park or Lakeshore State Park, one of the two. And this is a really nice public area where you have a mixture of nature including water, lighthouses, you can see some wildlife including some resident birds and foxes. If you go a little bit further throughout the trail, you get some public art that's littered throughout the area as well. Man, that's a small person. Why does it look like these birds are about to fight? A little bit of walking, a bit of peace from the city, but you still know it's right behind you because you can see nice, big, posing buildings and very interesting buildings such as the art museum in the background as well. Got a nice view here, guys. Check it out. Lake Michigan, the downtown. Nice little trails. So it's a great place to start off looking around the lakefront, but let's keep it going, guys. On to the next thing. Let's go. Now, it would be an absolute crime if you didn't go to the public market in Milwaukee. The public market is located in the historic Third World neighborhood, which we'll talk about a little bit, but either way, there is so much to see and do at this market just in of itself. There are so many little vendors where you can get really great bites to eat. At the Milwaukee public market, a hustling, bustling heart of food for downtown Milwaukee. We got a barbecue sandwich, a shake, and an acai bowl to kickstart our day. Really great bites to eat, decadent chocolate, bakeries, little coffee shops, boutiques, souvenirs. It has it all guys, so make sure you head in here and just wander around, spend some time, but be warned, it is a bit popular, so sometimes there'll be a little bit of a crowd to navigate through. Either way, it is an absolute essential thing for you to do while you're in Milwaukee. Something for everybody here, I promise. Another thing you have to do in Milwaukee, again, we're talking about the lakefront. We just went to the lakeshore or lakefront uh, state park. Now we're going to the beach. So if you're in Milwaukee on a hot summer day or maybe even during the warmer months at all, and you at all like to get in the water, you know, get in the sand, you have found a really good place to do that. And there are many beaches along Milwaukee, specifically along Lake Michigan, the lakefront area. And as you can see, I'm going to one right now and it feels like I'm almost walking into a jungle, almost into like Tulum or I don't know, somewhere a little bit more tropical than the Midwest. So either way, you have a beach like Bradford Beach, which is really good, it's really popular. There's lots of cool activities you can do, like play volleyball, lots of beach space, but lots of people as well. I like beaches that are a little bit more quaint. I want somewhere where I can get a little bit more tranquility and enjoy the space a little bit more. So that's where we're going right now. These stairs are leading me down to Paradise in Milwaukee. So the beach that we went up to was Atwater Beach. Let's enjoy. Three, two, one. Also guys, at Atwater Beach and Park, they have a cool little playground area right on the sand, literally right next to the beach. Pretty cool if you have kids, I know. Let's see where the next destination is, guys. Let's go. Next thing on the list is going to be the Old World Third Street in Milwaukee. This is an area where you can really feel the German influence and ancestry that the city of Milwaukee provides, which is really cool. It's a very unique thing to the area. So I definitely recommend you walk down this little area as far as you'd like to go. There's lots of good places to get a drink and get food or even a liter of beer, such as World House Beer Hall. Hey. 
Yeah, yeah Vanessa. That looks like a nice bear. That's a big bear you got. <laughs> Either way, it's a great place to check out, get some beers, get some food, and get a little different bit of a twist on a city experience in Milwaukee. Besides that, guys, we're continuing on to the next location along the way. Let's get going. Come on, let's go, let's go. Guys, so must do when you're in the city of Milwaukee is to check out the Riverwalk. And there's many reasons you should do this. Number one, it's a nice little scenic walking way which goes across or following the Milwaukee River where you're gifted with many great sites of the architecture, the different public art displayed along the way. Number two, it's a great method of transportation between different neighborhoods, such as the historic Third Ward and the old Third World Street area, with lots of different places to stop along on the way if you're interested. You can also see many boats coming through, such as pedal boats that you can rent. So it's a really scenic way to experience Milwaukee. It's a must do. If you've seen my video on the Chicago River Walk, you know how much I love these sorts of things. Either way, guys, let's keep on walking along the river. On the River Walk, let's go. Let's go. What the heck? The next thing you have to do in Milwaukee is go to the historic Third Ward. Here you can see a really historic district of downtown Milwaukee where you have really trendy shops, the public market, great stores, lots of things to walk around and see, including food, uh, you know, different drinks, and whatever else may have you. So you have to walk around and check it out, guys. But make sure you come before the evening because everything might be closed, like it is now. Just want to let you guys know. Let's keep on checking it out, guys. And the last thing on this list is not actually something that I got a chance to do today, mainly because the pandemic prevented me from doing some certain tours that I really wanted to do. And this is going to be uh, touring the different breweries in Milwaukee because I like beer, I really like breweries, and there were some really cool uh, different opportunities to do. And I'll list a few. You have the Pabst Brewery, you have the Miller Brewery, Lakefront Brewery. They're all worth doing based on my recommendations and reviews. I think you should definitely do them. I would recommend them, put them on my list, although I did not officially do them myself, guys. So that is my list, my eight top things, top eight things <laughs> that you must do in Milwaukee, everybody. Again, this is by no means everything. There are so many more things to do. If you're a sporty person, Milwaukee has a very strong sports culture and lots of great sports teams for you to go and support. If you're a museum fanatic, Milwaukee's got lots of things for you covered, such as our museum and others as well. And again, if you just want to do something seasonal and plan on that, there are music festivals for you to enjoy as well. So don't sleep on Milwaukee, everybody. There is so much to be seen and done here. So I hope you like my list. Leave a comment below if you have any uh, takes, opinions, agreements or disagreements. I love to hear from all of you. Please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel for more lists, more things to do in Milwaukee, the Midwest, and just the whole globe, guys. Let's get out there and see the world. So that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Peace.